G'day everyone, I'm Jazza, and I'm gonna level with you. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm a little bit emotional today. <laughs> Not like necessarily good or bad emotional, just tumultuous, I guess. Life's pretty crazy right now. Like, and again, in a good and challenging ways. We're about to move into a massive new exciting studio. I have restarted tabletop time and have, having the time of my life with my hobby and turning that into something to share with people. I feel like I've also rejuvenated this channel and I'm having more fun than I've had ever before. However, juggling all the stuff and then a lot of the just sort of the businessy and management and just life stuff can be pretty stressful at times and can make Make it a little bit hard to step in and be like, what video do I want to make today? Because it just makes everything a bit muddy. But then I thought, what better way to be constructive than turn my emotions into art? And what better way to express our emotions than through emojis? So I'm going to be <laughs> using, there you go, a random emoji generator. If I click random, there you go, we get random emojis. I'm going to take whatever three random emojis they give me and turn those into a character or just something fun. Randomize. <laughs> Snake. Triangle, maybe pyramid, noodles. I might need to muck around a bit to find what this is gonna be. Snake, triangle, noodles. Now look, this actually isn't a huge stretch to combine these by interpreting the triangle as a pyramid and creating a bit of a snake charmer character. I thought drawing a snake charmer on a lunch break eating his noodles would, I don't know, be a fun way to interpret it and include all three of those core emojis in the scene. When I had the sketch coming together, there was something missing. It was just that little bit of life and personality that would give this a bit of a charm, I guess you could say. So to add more charm, I thought the snake charmer on his break could be a noodle charmer, and I moved his hand away from holding the noodles so that I could redraw him eating his noodles the way I think any truly magical snake charmer would by charming them right into his mouth. And with my concept reimagined and now feeling much more suited, it was time to move on to the real bit of magic, adding the line work and color. Snake, triangle, slash pyramid, noodles. There it is. Easy. It's weird, the combination is like a little odd and hard to make fit in your head at first and then all of a sudden makes complete sense, especially when it's finished. Now let's see what our next emoji is. What emoji is that? It looks like a sun. This is okay, I guess. And this is a pager. Okay, so at first I thought the first emoji was a floating ball, but it turns out it's the sunrise emoji. Maybe sunset depending on your perspective. The okay emoji is pretty easy to interpret. And then the pager emoji, I sort of interpret it as uh, something to do with the doctor. And putting all of these things together, I created a little bit of a scene where someone is leaving the hospital or the doctor's office first thing in the morning, maybe after a traumatic night or I don't know, maybe a, a long hard surgery or something like that. And the doctor is there in the doorway saying goodbye. One of the happier endings from a doctor's office and the best possible outcome, of course, that a doctor could ask for after helping someone out all night in their very difficult sort of job. The pager went off, they're okay in the end, and whether it's the end of the day or the start of the next, that is how I put those emojis together to tell a bit of a story. I, I quite like this. By the way, I don't know if you can tell this, but uh, the person on the left who's just been helped out after being injured must be subconsciously inspired by Dear Evan Hansen, which for those of you who don't know is a musical and the, the promotional picture or whatever is the main character with the cast on his arm, who has the blue shirt and the cast on his arm the whole time. So given that I was actually listening to Dear Evan Hansen while drawing this picture, uh, I yeah, I think that would make sense as to why my brain sort of went in this direction. <laughs> I legitimately did not realize I was doing that until I had a blue shirted guy in a cast while listening to Waving Through a Window and I'm like, oh, I see how that happened. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here we have our doctor after a good result to a hard night. I like this one. This turned into much more of a full scene than I pictured. I can't help but do characters, even though all three emojis had no character in them. Sunrise, okay, pager. I don't know, I'm a storyteller and I'm a character drawer. I love drawing characters. And this is what it turned into. And I feel like I definitely took those emojis and put them in the scene. Here it is. That was fun. Let's do another. Next, we've got ribbon, mouse, house. Sure. <laughs> Where do we go with that one? All right, ribbon, mouse, and house. I uh, I decided to interpret this reasonably literally, except for the ribbon, which I think the emoji is a reminder ribbon, which usually stands for a cause. I chose to interpret it as a scarf because it looks like a little scarf. And I thought a little scarf on a mouse in front of a little dollhouse would be a good look. And I think trying to fit in some sort of cause or I don't know. I don't, I don't want to take away from or, or seem to diminish the importance of various causes by fitting it into a whimsical mouse house scene. So instead, it's a tiny little scarf made out of, I guess, a strip of cloth or shoelace or something. The resulting sketch and then ink work of which was, a, I think, pretty adorable little mouse lady with a, with a lovely little scarf and a lovely little handbag and the tennis ball, of course, to add a sense of scale and nice bright colours on the house, of course, to make it look clearly like a dollhouse. And here it is, my lovely mouse house scarf. Oh, I forgot. Oh, not yet. Wait. Here's a handbag. There we go. Didn't colour it in. What is wrong with me? Okay, that's better. Mouse house scarf. Let's do one more and step it up a notch. All right, last but not least, for the grand finale, I am gonna up this to four unique emojis. A silent hamster face person people. Nothing to do but put pencil to paper. All right, I'm gonna be honest. This one stumped me a little bit. I tend to try and go with my gut with this stuff, but the first thing that came to mind with this batch of emojis was Hamtaro. Hamtaro was like this weird anime hamster game TV show cartoon thing. I don't know. I just had Hamtaro in my head for some reason. On top of that, how to make this combination work, I had no idea, but because I had Hamtaro in my head, I thought I'd go with an anime-ish style. I think mainly just to shake it up Bit. I'm gonna be honest with the results that you'll see soon even when I'm trying to do anime I can't help but be a quite you know in my style But I had fun trying to break the mold and do something stylistically just that little bit different So the way I chose to interpret this concept in the end and I trust me I went through a whole bunch of different ideas. I thought I'd keep it sweet and simple I decided to combine the little person with the red top and blue pants with the silent emoji. I thought it could be that this is a person who maybe has trouble talking or even is a mute and uh, hasn't got many friends or gets bullied or something. And then I combined the hamster and the two people emojis conceptually to mean that the hamster is his friend. So I was drawing a little scene where a bullied mute kid sitting on the steps dejected after a day meets his new best friend, a little hamster. He doesn't need to really communicate traditionally with they understand each other and they love each other or they will grow to love each other this is where they meet this is where I sort of picture them like connecting for some reason I think it combines those emojis really well and uh, I, I love the feel of it I think it looks cool and I feel nice looking at it and having made it I genuinely started this video after dealing with just a bunch of life stuff and feeling pretty bleh. But I had this concept and I thought it actually ties in pretty well with the fact that I'm dealing with stuff, but I'm just gonna make some art, draw some pictures, and I feel great at the end of it. I had a lot of fun. I had a bit of a challenge playing with some ideas, but I got lost in some storytelling and trying to interpret some ideas into what turned out to be really quite fun, uh, innocent and sort of sweet little pictures, which I guess is what I needed today because I feel great. <laughs> and I hope you feel great having joined me after this video. I guess there is a moral to this one, and that is that getting lost in being creative is therapeutic. I feel good, and I hope you feel good too. Thank you for watching. And if you do feel good, hit like. Subscribe for more fun with art and creativity in whatever form that comes in. There are more videos over there you're bound to enjoy. Otherwise, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until now.
I don't know what he has it. I don't know what he has it. Well, that's about where I am today. It's the end of the day. I'm going to wrap up and go relax. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you later. I said it properly that time. Nailed. <laughs>